Hi guys, so about two months ago I was doing streamer wars. So you can find the videos on my channel, but I've had all ever solo streamers here. I've had Hi-Fi Rose RS130 and Aralic RESG 2.2, which I decided to buy for my system. So I was looking for a perfect streamer to accompany my duck. This is Vice204 duck, and it might seem like not a lot, but believe me. I've replaced Lampizator Baltic 4 with this one, and I've had Meitner MA3 here for the comparison, and I liked this one better. Although, you know, the Baltic and the Meitner were more analog, in my book they lacked this punch, kick and energy, which for me at least is substantial to enjoy the music, and these little beasts have so much kick, so much punch and so beautiful soundstage that when I switched to those other ducks, I had a feeling like half of the sound was instantly missing. If you like your sound, big, bold, dynamic, punchy and with beautiful holography, yeah, this duck, it's really, really good. So since I bought this duck like half a year ago, I thought to myself, I'm gonna stay with this one for a long time since it's going to be really tricky and expensive to replace it. And this costs like 4,000 bucks, something like that. Apparently, how wrong was I? So I've got this buddy of mine, Marek, which also bought the Qualio IQ loudspeakers from us and he's very happy with them. And he's looking for the rest of the system. He had the nine split system, power amp and preamp, and apparently Fossi ZA3 sounds better, so he's probably going for them or he's waiting for the new monoblocks. But when it comes to the duck, he had like a few different options and he's also looking for the streamer. So when he heard that I've had so many streamers here, he decided to come visit me and have a listen. And he brought his duck that he recently purchased blindly just based on the feedback on the internet and reviews. So the tag that he brought was Holo Audio Spring Level 2. And that is R2R tag. The first moment we turned it on, I was really, really intrigued because from the first notes, I heard that it's going to be better than the Vice. And it's really, really amazing because this Holo Audio Spring DAC is less than 3000 euro or around that with the preamp and some options. So after a few more tracks, I knew that I'm changing my DAC. And the same morning, I thought I'm gonna stay with my vice for a long time. So I'm going to share with you all the sound details that I heard comparing them to the Vice after the sound samples that I also recorded for you. So now you can put on your headphones and listen to the differences between those two ducks. And I'll share my opinion with you right after the samples. <laughs> Bésame mucho Cette chanson d'autrefois Je la chante pour toi Bésame Bésame mucho Comme une histoire d'amour Qui ne finirait pas Bésame, bésame mucho Si dans un autre pays Ça veut dire embrasse-moi 
Pésame, pésame mucho Toute ma vie je voudrais la chanter avec toi On l'a chanté dans les rues, sous des ciels inconnus Et dans toute la France, on la croyait oubliée Et pour mieux nous aimer, voilà qu'elle recommence Bessame, Bessame mou Cette chanson d'autrefois, je la chante pour toi. Bessame, Bessame mucho. Comme une histoire d'amour qui ne finirait pas.
So, did you manage to hear the differences? Because what I heard from the first notes was amazing energy in the room. Basically, the sound was bigger, bolder, faster. The vocals were more pronounced and fuller, richer sounding, while the sound stage collapsed a little bit. I thought that overall it was 90% of improvement in overall sound and 10% drawback. Because when it comes to sound stage, what Vice does is truly stunning. It adds this a little reverb, it's holography 3Dness that is truly, truly amazing. But what Holo Audio was up to with its R2R Spring Deck, it's like 80 to 90% of that effect I've lost a little bit of these tiny reverbs and a sound stage was not as wide as with the Vice. Even though I'm a holography sucker and I love it, I love 3Dness of the sound, the overall balance and tonality and the naturalness, the analoginess, the fullness in the vocals and the pleasure of listening to the music increased so much that, okay, I can sacrifice a little bit of this soundstage just for the sake of this amazing experience. So yes, after five minutes of listening, I knew I will change my DAC. So the question now was, which should I go for? Because the spring DAC is very good, but there is one DAC considered to be better than it and it's Holo Audio May. I know many of you, and so am I, we are predestined to consider that things that are more expensive are better. And oftentimes that's how exactly that works. I would love to all of the devices be as a good deal as Fossey or AMA or other D-Class amplifiers, but Unfortunately, more often than not, the more expensive things are better. It's not 100% rule, but more often than not, it's like that. So I've read the reviews, I've listened to some samples on the YouTube, just as with my videos, and I've checked a couple of video reviews. And I decided, okay, I'll give it a risk and I'll order the Holo Audio May KTE edition, which is the top tier DAC from Holo Audio at the moment. So after about a week from that time, the Holo May arrived. And how it sounds? Yeah, it's awesome. Is it my new DAC? Yes, it is. I'll do entire video comparing the Holo May to Holo Spring for you guys so we can decide on the differences between them and which one is better for you if you're looking for a new DAC and that is interesting to you. But let me tell you, I love this DAC and I'm really thinking that now to replace this one, unless somebody's coming with a new top totally awesome thing, I'm gonna stay with it for a long time. But you know, things happen and I'm testing a lot of things right now here, so maybe I'll switch, but for now, just as like two months ago, I believed the Vice was truly amazing and truly special, and it still is. But when I discovered the Holo Audio May, I believe it's better, and I believe Holo Audio Spring is also better. If you're for the energy, depth, richness, analoginess, and amazing listening experience. So I'm looking forward to your comment, and I'm sure the next video that YouTube is suggesting to you right now will be as awesome for you as this one. So see you in my next video.